you're watching this video, chances are you're probably wondering why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet but never mix. Well, here it is. Scientists say that we know more about outer space than the depths of our oceans, and the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, being the two largest seas on the planet covering half of the Earth's surface, make up the planet's largest oceanic habitat. And while scientists are unsure as to how many species live in the ocean's depths, estimates suggest there are between 700,000 and 1 million types of marine life, with over 91% remaining unclassified. With so many mysteries about our oceans yet to be solved, they continue to fascinate scientists and geographers everywhere. However, for those of us who aren't experts, there's one question we often ask. Where do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet, and why do they never mix? And how are they distinguishable? To help your curiosity, make sure you watch this video to the end to unravel this mystery. Hello everyone, you didn't know that there's a YouTube channel that can help you to become a scientist and engineer. If you want to know more about science, did you want to become a great researcher, doctor, scientist, engineer, then go and subscribe to Science Secret TV on YouTube. This channel can help you achieve success about science and scientists. This channel deals with animals documentary, scientists and research, invention of technology. We deal with most powerful countries and their scientist secrets. If you've always asked yourself, where do the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans meet, then your search is over. They meet at Cape Horn. This rugged headland lies at the southernmost point of the very tip of South America. Okay, so we know where the oceans meet. Now we can move on to something a little more technical, the question of whether or not they mix. This may seem like an odd proposition. After all, they are both waters, so surely they should mix. Well, it's not quite that simple. Due to the different densities and currents of the two oceans, they don't disperse together calmly and evenly. The Atlantic is saltier than the Pacific, which makes the water denser creating the rough border along the sea. So why do the two oceans not mix? The reason for this strange phenomenon is due to the difference in water density, salinity, halocline, temperature, thermocline, and current of the glacial meltwater and offshore waters of the Gulf of Alaska, making it difficult to mix. So let's look at each of these factors. Density. So you may want to ask, how can the two oceans have different densities if they're both waters? The difference in their densities is a function of varying salinity concentration and levels of temperature. Density is expressed as mass over volume, which implies that density is directly proportional to mass. And when you put more salt in water, the density of that water increases because of the mass of the water increases. So let's do an experiment. Take two samples of water with the same volume but different salinity levels and add some egg. What do you notice? The water sample with more dissolved salt will make the egg float better than the other, as water with higher salt concentration will be more dense, making it difficult for both to mix. That explains to a large extent why the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans never mix. Haloclines. Haloclines appear when water in one ocean or sea is at least five times saltier than in the other. You can create a halocline at home if you pour some seawater or colored salty water into a bowl and then add some fresh water on top of it. What do you notice? A horizontal salty seawater and vertical ocean haloclines. So why does it happen that way? Well, first, the difference in density of water of the two oceans is not that great for one of them to get down and the other to rise. Yet, it's enough not to let them mix. Thermoclines. Again, normally when water is heated, it will expand, therefore increasing the volume. Since density is inversely proportional to volume, the greater volume will lower its density, as in the case of the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, causing them never to mix. Current. Furthermore, the distinct dispersion of their currents makes it even more difficult for these water bodies to mix. In this picture, you can see the major current movements of the two oceans. Notice their differences in color. The sky blue color is typical of a shallow tropical shelf Atlantic current, while the deeper water Pacific current looks dark blue that never gets mixed. 